And with a beer review, so today we have a beer from Overtone. It's a Cabernet Pure Magic, the 2023 iteration of it. It is a double dry hopped dipper, hopped with Galaxy, Botwaker and Strata. This was canned four days ago of recording, so it's going to be fresh. Um, I've had the previous two years iterations of this. They're all hopped with the same thing, so I'm not even sure why they really... Uh, vintage it but they do so it gets you an extra check in on untapped so that's always good but and they were absolutely magic as the name as the name suggests they were pure magic brilliant beers they were both fives on untapped so i'm sure i'm hoping this will be at that level as well but let's find out so this is one of overton's fifth birthday beers this is released every year for the well the last i say every year 2021 and 2022, they released Pure Magic for their birthday. But yeah, part of their fifth birthday lineup alongside a sour and a pale ale, which I've already had, and a tipper and a barrel aged impy stout. So yeah, got matching glass as well. So we're matching glass wanker. Look at that, here's your boy. Three fingers of white head, sort of a slightly darkish sort of colour. Not like so dark you think it's oxidised or anything like that, but under certain lights, uh, so some people might think it is, but it's not as good of a smell. Yeah. It smells amazing. You've got all that sort of freshly chopped lime, that overripe mango, berries, passion fruit, peach, papaya, you name it. Not that I've ever actually eaten a papaya, but <laughs> you learn what these things taste and smell like from beer. Dankness. It tastes, I mean, it smells fresh, like a four day old can. But not in like a sort of like a way that's going to be pop burn central, but it does smell fresh. Let's dive in. Looking forward to this. Delicious. Loads of passion fruit, grapefruit. Dankness. Melon. Orange. Peach. A little bit of pine. Slight bit of strawberry from the strata. I'll say that strata was one of the hops of it, yeah. <laughs> Lime. Yeah, like I said, tastes like a four day old dipper. Tastes super fresh, but in, not in a hop, there's, but there's no hop burn, which is good. You know, it's well made. Not saying beers for hop burn aren't well made, but you know what I mean? It's not like, it's not overly green despite tasting fresh. It's fresh in a good way. Thick, juicy. Slight bitterness on the finish. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it's probably it's probably nearly as good or as good as the previous year's ones. Like it's hard for me to tell because I've had a lot of I've had a lot of fantastic dippers since then. So my perception might have changed. I don't know if it's a five or untapped like the previous ones, but it's certainly gonna get like a minimum four point five, I don't know. I'll decide after this video. It's it's too early to judge that, but yeah, it tastes amazing, so worth picking up for sure. So yeah, thank you for watching. Drop us your thoughts below. 
Good advice, subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.